Hey love, so today we're going to do kind of a talk through, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do, but I know I want to do a colorful liner, and we're going to do just the eye look, and then I'm going to do my foundation highlight and contour routine separately, so there will be that video up. If it's already up, it'll be linked down below, or it'll be up soon. You know what I'm saying. So we're going to begin with brows. I almost always begin with brows, either I do my entire face makeup if I'm doing a really natural eye. I'm probably going to do my everyday eye with a bold liner today is what I'm thinking. So, so I'm going to use my favorite brow product of the moment. This is Build a Brow by It Cosmetics and I'm going to use Universal Taupe. And then I'm going to use it with this It Cosmetics brush. It's the Build a Brow brush number 12. It's got a little spoolie on the end which of course has got all this brow product in it. And a very interesting uh, angled brush on the other side. It's got like little divots cut into it very interesting. I think it helps hold the product in the brush. Anyway, so let's get started. Bring it in super close. This stuff it just makes it so easy. It's just like boom, brows are done like so fast. Literally just fill in my brow, that's all I do. See how fast that is? Like, I could be done with that. Just like, boom. I think I'm just gonna use my trusty NYX white shadow base today because I want kind of a bright lid. I finally hunted these palettes down. They were nowhere to be found around me. I have, oh, I'm sure I'll tell you all about it in the video that I'm gonna do on them, but. Anyway, finally found them. Oh my goodness. So this is the new L'Oreal Le Palette Nude 1. So we're going to start with this guy. Highlight my brow bone with this guy. Oh my goodness. I thought my Sigma E40 had run away from me and I found it. Oh my goodness. They, do they have names? They, they have numbers. Oh, how exciting. Shade three. Oh, just gonna put that in the crease all over. Boom, boom, boom. You know what I'm saying. I've heard such mixed reviews on this palette. What do you guys think? I take six. This deeper matte brown. And a little pencil brush. This one is by Tweezer Man. And just kind of Put that in the upper crease. It's not looking too pretty right now. We're just going to kind of lay that color down and then we'll go back and blend it out. Taking out a tapered fluffy brush and going back in with six and kind of blending that a little bit upward. So now we've created that harsher line, but then we want to blend it a little bit more. And this kind of shimmery shade down here, pack that onto the lid. Spritz a brush with some of the Smashbox primer water and go back into that same shade. You could totally use the um, L'Oreal makeup fixing spray to do that as well. I'm just going to make it a little more opaque and metallic. back in with that number six shade and put it back but kind of in our outer V a little bit not too much it doesn't really matter because our liner is going to cover that up just so it's all you know blended and all that jazz start 
start with my black liner and I'm gonna do a black line and then do a sparkly turquoise line on top of it. I'm gonna use one of my favorite liners. You see my like, holy grail. This is a Sephora. The high precision eyeliner. Being too perfect right now because we're gonna have to go back again and again. So I'm gonna use this Lancome art liner. What shade are you? Right on top of that black line. Go back with the black and fix our line. It's in a weird order because we're going to do our face makeup in a minute. So I'm just going to do my top lashes and my false lashes and then we'll come back after all the face makeup and do the lower lash line. Oh, we're gonna try out the feline lashes from House of Lashes. I've had these for a while and I have not worn them. They're a little shorter than the normal lashes that I wear but we're gonna give it a go. Hopefully it'll show the metallic liner. So. Okay, and now we're gonna tight line with this is the Stila smudge stick in Stingray. Okay, so I'm gonna do my face makeup and we'll come back with the lower line. Alright, loves, we have returned. I have all of my face makeup on, my highlight, my contour. All this. If you want to see how I did my highlight and contour, that video will be up very soon or link down below. It'll be linked down below once it's up. Or make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. So we're going to finish this makeup look with the lower lash line and then I'm going to put something on my lips because I'm looking a little dead. This is another It Cosmetics brush. This is a dual ended one. It's got a fluffy side and then a smudger brush. I'm just going to use the little smudger brush under my lower lash line. It works really well under there. I think I'm gonna start with shade three, this lighter one, and then I'm gonna use some of shade six. So we're going with shade three. So just that little bit makes it, just makes it look much more complete by putting that shadow underneath your eye. Six. Keep that closer to the lash line. Going with the NYX Wonder Pencil, and this is the lightest one in light, and I'm just gonna apply this to my waterline. Just make my eyes appear more wide, awake, and open. I'm gonna use this little detail brush, it's just a random purple detail brush. I think I got them on eBay a million years ago. And spray it again with the primer water or fix plus or whatever setting spray or eye drops, whatever you got. And I'm going to go back in shade 10. The really, well, the most shimmery one. The one that's on my lid. And we're just going to pop that in here. some bottom lash mascara. This is MAC Extended Play Giga Black Mascara, my favorite bottom lash mascara of life. Just a completed eye look. I think we are good. Good enough for me anyway, right now at like midnight, whatever time it is. I was going to do a super nude look, but let's see how this goes. I got this NYX lip liner in Earth Tone. 
for free when I ordered a bunch of stuff recently. They just sent it with everything else. It was the free gift, so I'm going to try that. It's super dark. Let's see. So there's that. Okay, we're going to try this. I wanted to do Mac Myth, but we'll see how it works together with this. Guys, so that is everything. Again, if you want to see how I highlighted and contoured, that video will be linked down below. Or make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that video. So this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. And please tag me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram if you ever recreate any of my looks because I would love to see it. Tag me on anything. Like, come talk to me, especially on Twitter. It's really easy for me to respond on Twitter. And you can find me on Twitter here and Instagram. But it's a little harder to respond on Instagram and YouTube. Twitter is super easy for some reason, and Facebook isn't bad. So find me on all of those things and come be my friend, and I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching, and thumbs up this video if you like this style of tutorial where I talk through and explain what I'm doing as I do it. Okay, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!